Welcome back, everyone. And joining us is the former chief financial officer for the state of Florida, Alex Sink, who has been following this campaign since the very beginning. It's been an interesting week so far. What's going through your mind? Well, uh, like so many other people, I am ready for it to be over. Uh, it's uh, hard to believe only seven more days. And uh, what's going through my mind is this is the craziest election I've ever experienced. What's next? What news will come next? But I'm just trusting the voters that they'll re recognize that Hillary Clinton is prepared to be president, that uh, she has the best plans for our future, and that Donald Trump is totally unfit to serve as president. Are you concerned, even if she ekes out of the win, mm -hmm. that the narrowing of the polls may have an impact on down ballot races, which you know the Democrats were expected to, to maybe win the Senate race in Florida, the number of congressional races, state Senate, you know, state Senate races? Well, it's hard to say, Alan, and that's the job of us, uh, the tens of thousands of volunteers for Hillary over the next seven days, is to just be out there talking to our friends and our neighbors and getting the vote out and knocking on doors and continuing to make phone calls. And you know what? People really, they, they want to talk through what's in their minds and what, what they're listening to. And this latest controversy has certainly been a distraction, but I think most people made up their mind long ago. Uh, about the email situation. She admitted she had made a mistake and are getting back to focus on who do we need to have our next president of the United States be? What kind of world leader are we going to tell the rest of the world that we're electing? But still, the tracking polls since last Friday have definitely shown the narrowing. Mm -hmm. When you first heard this news, what went through your mind? Oh, no, <laughs> not something else. You know, what else? What else is next? I mean, the same reaction that. Uh, you know, we've had over and over again so many times, uh, and and to have the FBI be involved and come up with something really within 10 days of a presidential election, I and mean, it appears really now that it was totally inappropriate and not called for. Finally, from what I have seen so far, the Republicans are outpacing Democrats in terms of the early vote. Number one, are you surprised? Number two, are you concerned? Well. Uh, what I've seen is that it's actually very, very close uh, in terms of the percentage of Republican votes returned versus Democrats. Uh, Alan, I think the big question is how are those 20% uh, of no party affiliate voters going? Uh, so we can probably count on our Democratic votes. Uh, we've got another weekend to go. I think there will be a lot of enthusiasm uh, with some of the early voters, the African Americans, but also uh, I'm going to be watching the Hispanic vote very, very carefully. I saw a Mexican American uh, college student last night in Gainesville who said, Everybody in my family is coming out to vote for Hillary Clinton. Right, qu quickly, they say the African American vote is not as strong as it was in 2012 and 2008. Well, I think that uh, they, we had a Barack Obama on the ballot. That's probably understandable. But again, I think we ought to pay a lot of attention to the growing importance of the Hispanic vote here in the state of Florida. I think that's going to carry the day for Hillary. All right, Alex, thank you very much. And we'll be back in just a moment.